Let us not wallow in the valley of despair, I say to you today, my friends. And so even though we face the difficulties of folding a fitted sheet, I still have a dream. It is a dream deeply rooted in the American dream. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all sheets are created equal. I have a dream that one day on the red hills of Georgia, the fitted sheets and the flat sheets will be able to be folded together in the linen closet of brotherhood. I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their sheets, but by the content of their neatly folded linen closet. I have a dream today. I have a dream that one day every fitted sheet shall be exalted and every linen closet shall be made neat. The rough places will be folded and the crooked places will be made straight and the glory of the Lord shall be revealed and all sheets shall see it together. This is our hope. And this is the faith that I go back to the laundry room with. With this faith, we will be able to hew out of the fitted sheet of despair a stone of hope. With this faith, we will be able to transform the jumble of our wrinkled sheets into a beautiful symphony of folded linen. With this faith, we will be able to work together, to pray together, to struggle together, to stand up for freedom together, to fold together, knowing that we will be free one day of badly folded sheets. And this will be the day. This will be the day when all of God's children will be able to see neatly folded sheets. And if America is to be a great nation, this must become true. And so let fitted sheets be folded from the prodigious hilltops of New Hampshire. Let fitted sheets be folded from the mighty mountain tops of New York. Let fitted sheets be folded from the Heighton and Alleghenies of Pennsylvania. Let fitted sheets be folded from the snow-capped Rockies of Colorado. Let fitted sheets be folded from the curvaceous slopes of California. From every mountainside, let fitted sheets be folded. And when this happens, when we allow fitted sheets to be folded, when we let it fold from every village and every hamlet, from every state and every city, we will be able to speed up that day when all of God's children, Navy seamen and Air Force pilots, Army grunts and Marine jawheads, National Guard, Reserve and Coast Guard will be able to join hands and sing in the words of the old Negro spiritual, free at last, free at last. Thank God Almighty, we are free at last of unfolded sheets. Howdy y'all, Military Martha. Today, your mission is to fold a fitted sheet. Now, in order to accomplish this mission, you must have three items. The first item that you're going to need is a pair of hands. The next item that you're going to need is a flat surface. And last but not least, the dreaded fitted sheet. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the enemy. We can conquer the enemy. Now, most of y'all take the fitted sheet and it comes out of the laundry just like this. And that's how it goes into your linen closet. And I am sorry, but this is not acceptable. The best way to fold a fitted sheet is to remember, work with the sheet, not against the sheet. So let's try. First thing you're going to do is you're going to find a corner and you're going to take a finger and stick your finger up in the peak of the corner just like that. Now the best thing to do is to find the short end, not the long end, but the short end and make sure you find the other corner that's attached to that short end. Usually the short end will be the side that doesn't have any elastic on it. So you're going to find the second corner, oh there it is, you're going to put your finger right in that corner. Now your right hand and your left hand are going to meet together in the middle. Those of you that have done a drug test will probably know what I'm talking about. Bring your two fingers together in the middle, pull the left side up over the right side just like that. Now make sure you keep the corners right there on your finger. All right. Now you might want to do a little straightening at this point just to make sure that everything is all good. Now you're going to go down here to the bottom of your sheet and you're going to find your other corners. This is where it gets a little dangerous. Stick with me. All right. Now we're going to find the outside corner, which would probably be, let's see here, where did it go? It's around here somewhere, I know it. I can feel it. Where did it go? Ah, oh, there it is. You see how it's kind of naturally folding up against itself and that's what you want it to do. So you're going to take your outside corner, 
You're going to put it up over your other two corners, just like this. Make sure you keep those peaks together. Then you're going to take your last corner. You're going to bring it in to all the other ones here. Make sure, again, you keep those peaks. And there you go. You see how that works? So now you have your short sides together. Just going to make sure that I pull out a few of these wrinkles here. This is where your flat surface comes in handy. So what you're going to do is you're going to lay your corners down on your flat surface. And you see how that just naturally makes a nice straight edge right on this side. Can you all see that? All right. Now, the sheet is already doing half the work for you because it knows that it is going to be beat into submission if it does not. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your elastic side and you're going to pull all of this extra elastic in toward you so you make a nice straight line right across the top there. You see that straight line? So you've got a straight line here. You've got a straight line where you've met all of your corners. You've got a straight line down here. If you don't, just kind of pull, tug on a little bit, make sure it's straight. And then you've got a straight line over here on your side as well. Now all you have to do is fold it like a taco. Just going to fold it in on top of itself just like this. Make sure we get all the wrinkles out as we go. So we're folding it into a nice, long, rectangular shape. And the easiest thing to do is just to fold it into thirds. One time, two times, and ladies and gentlemen, voila, we have a folded fitted sheet. I'm Military Martha, and that is how to fold a fitted sheet. Mission accomplished.